So getting started with today's lesson, we're going to talk about the area of a regular polygon, like I said. I need to introduce you to a new word. This is it's an odd word, but it's a word that's going to be important to us. It's called apothem. The distance from the center of any polygon to a side is called the apothem. The apothem is this particular piece right here. It looks like the height of that triangle. That is what we're looking for. That is the apothem. Now the neat thing about this is our shape here, this regular hexagon, because it has six sides, is inscribed inside of a circle. And that circle has something we've already talked about called radius. The radius of a regular polygon is the distance from the center to a vertex. And you'll notice that the vertex is on this circle that goes around the shape. Well, my radius is here. Now, for our purposes, we're not really going to worry so much about radius for this. I'm going to make this as simple as I can for you guys. I'm going to make it as easy as it can get. The formula for the area of a regular polygon just comes down to this. The area of a regular polygon is equal to 1 half times the apothem A times the perimeter. Now, one thing we have to be careful about, this is not going to be like, in number one, this is not 1 half times 7 times 24.2. It's not. We have to do a little bit of extra work, which I'm going to show you how to do here. The key feature that we need is the perimeter. So check this out. In number seven, based on what we did yesterday, we need to find the area of each regular polygon. We're going to round our answer to the nearest hundredth. We're just going to keep on with that. Now, it's important as always to remember what it is we need. We know that the area of a regular polygon is equal to 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter. So what do we have and what do we need to find? This 7 right here is the apothem. I'm going to call that my A. So I already have the apothem. I still need the perimeter. This 24.2 is not the perimeter. That is merely one side. I call it S. Here's the trick to this. It's important for you to realize that perimeter, excuse me, perimeter is equal to the S side length times the number of sides. This is another key formula which we'll probably bring up later on. I think this is something that we will review on Thursday when we review for the quiz, the test. So check this out. The number of sides is as simple. You count the number of the sides of the shape. One, two, three. This is something that we're going to do every time. That means that up here I'm going to put n equals three. There are three sides, n equals three. When I go to find the perimeter, perimeter is equal to the side length s, which is 24.2 times the number of sides, 3. So this time around, I have to calculate the perimeter before I can even actually find the area. 24.2 times 3 is 72.6. And with that, I have everything I need to actually find area now. Area is equal to 1 half times the apothem. We already found the apothem. It's the 7 times the perimeter, which we just calculated, 72.6. Now all I have to do is put that into a calculator. If you want to rewrite this kind of like we did yesterday, if you want to write this as 7 times 72.6 over 2, you can do that. Just understand that once you get that, once you hit enter in the calculator, you're getting your final answer. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit the fraction button here and put in 7 times 72.6. On the bottom, I'll put 2. That will give me my final answer, which is 254.1.
254.1 feet squared. The process for all of these is really going to be the same. Does anybody have any questions about how I did that? How I got something? Okay. Well, we're going to do this again. I'm going to do this for number eight, and I'm going to, and I'm going to do this faster. I'm going to make it go faster, basically. Once again, I need to find area. Area is equal to basically A times P divided by 2. I'll write it that way. This right here, from the center to the side, that's my A, my apothem. Now, that 13.3 again, that's side length, S. That's not perimeter, which means I need to find perimeter, which means I need to know the number of sides to the shape. So I'm going to count the number of sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are eight sides to this shape. Now because of that, I can find perimeter. Perimeter is equal to the side length s times the number of sides n. So p is equal to 13.3 times 8. Let's see, 13.3 times 8, that gives me 106.4. And with that, I can now find the area of my shape. Area equals apothem 16 times perimeter 106.4 divided by 2. Go ahead, let me do that in my calculator. Let's see, 16 times 106.4 divided by 2. It's going to give me a large area. A lot of our areas are going to end up being pretty big. 851.2 centimeters squared. So there's a little bit of added work to it. We're still dividing by 2. We're still multiplying two numbers. And we're already given the apothem. We just need to calculate the perimeter, identify the apothem, and then plug it in. So let's see what you've figured out so far. We're going to look at number 9. Maria, first thing that I need to do is determine what I have. What is this 8? Is that apothem or side length? It is the apothem, A. So I'm going to label that A. Again, to find area, area is equal to A, the apothem, times P, the perimeter, divided by 2. Now. I still need to find the perimeter. I know what the A is. In fact, if I went to plug this in, I would already have A equals 8 times P divided by 2. But I don't know what P is. I know that 11.6 is the side length, but that's not perimeter. Perimeter equals side length times N. We already have the side length 11.6. Humor me. Addy. What does N stand for again? How many sides? How many sides are there in this shape? Five. Perfect. So I'm going to multiply 11.6 times 5. Let's see. 11.6 times 5 gets me 58. All right. That means all I have to do is take this 58 and plug it in right here. Well, this is going to come out nice and even. 
All right, let's see what we get. 8 times 58, divide that by 2. That gets me 232 units squared. Now, they don't give us a units. They don't, they don't give us feet, inches, centimeters, millimeters. They don't give us units. So I'm going to put UT for units squared, whatever those units might be. Last but not least, number 10. We're going through the same process once again. Area is equal to 1 half times the apoph... No, let me rewrite that because I like writing it the other way. I kind of like it. Area is equal to the apothem times the perimeter divided by 2. Eventually, we'll, we'll get there and we'll have everything to plug in. Jaden. Based on what you've been able to glean, what is my apothem? 14 is the apothem. So we already have that. Good. Anyone, what is, what is the 10.2? Uh, is that perimeter? No, it's not. It's side length. Remember, perimeter is equal to side length times the number of sides. So, Cole, what is that 10.2? It's the S. Good. So we need to take that 10.2 and multiply it by the number of sides. Now, do you know how many sides there are? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Spot on. There are nine sides. N equals 9. So all I have to do is go to my calculator. 10.2 times 9 gives us 91.8. And now I have everything to plug into my formula. Area equals A times P. My A is 14. My P perimeter is 91.8, and then we divide by 2. Let's see, 14 times 91.8, divide that by 2, I'm getting 642.6 units squared. How do we feel? Does anybody have any questions?